put your hands together for the wonderful Peter Capaldi. So you're one of my absolute favorite doctors and I'm going to be devastated when you leave at the end of this series. So uh, my question for you is, how do you want your doctor to be remembered? Just want him to be enjoyed, really. I don't, uh, he hasn't gone yet. <laughs> so we don't start the remembering yet. There's still a lot of stuff to go through. So once we've gone through all the stuff, then we can think about remembering. They never really go the doctors. They're always there. So they're not, he won't be in the past. He'll still be around somewhere. Um, Mr. Capaldi. That's <laughs> what I like to hear. Did he can work at our Say restaurant. Say it again. Say it again. You got a job? Capaldi. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Peter. Hi, great outfit. Thanks. I was just wondering, if you had the chance to, what would you say to, ask, or show William Hartnell, the first doctor? What would I say to him? Yeah. Um, I'd say you left that trailer in a mess. <laughs> <laughs> what I'd say to him is thank you. I'd say thank you, you know, because uh, he did something uh, extraordinary uh, that he never saw. He never saw how far this went. Uh, and how, how, how special it is. So if you were to have the opportunity to go anywhere in time and space, my question is, where would you go? Hmm. Well, there's always, you know, that question always has, there's two parts to that question. There's always, a, you know, the uh, light-hearted answer, which is, you know, we say, oh, I'd like to go and see the Beatles, or I'd like to go and see the pyramids being built, or whatever. But the truth is, if you really had, you know, that power to go back and see uh, the past, I don't think you'd go very far, really. I think you'd probably go, or I would probably go and see, you know, my folks who aren't here anymore. So I think it'd be nice to go and see them. 